today we're going to have a look and see what's inside one of these bug zappers. As you can see, there's a bit of energy there. And later on, I plan to uh, make it just a little bit stronger, have a bit of fun with it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll take the batteries out in case it accidentally zaps me. Total of three volts there. All right, let's have a look. These, by the way, cost around three or four dollars at your local two dollar shop. All right, here we go. That better not be charged still. Okay, there's a screw there. Spider. Okay, there you go. Battery terminals, push button switch, an LED indicator to let you know that your batteries are fine. You've got a oscillating transistor there that puts AC across the, the primary of the transformer. Obviously, it'll be a step up transformer. A couple of bridge rectifiers there, diodes, capacitors, and that looks like. Oh yeah, the capacitor that goes across the secondary. We'll have some fun with that later on. We'll desolder that and we'll put a bigger, bigger size capacitor and see how much fun we can have with it. Alrighty. That's pretty much what it is. Not bad for three bucks. Okay. I'll start desoldering. Instead of desoldering that capacitor, what I'll do is I'll solder another one in parallel with it, just to give it that extra oomph. Just tin there, tin there. I've got this capacitor off an old um, grinder that um, burnt out. So let me. It's a 0.22 microfarad. I'm going to stick those legs across the existing capacitor solder joints. All right. So these two capacitors are in parallel now what I'll do I'll put the battery terminals back in and we'll give it a whirl okay this is going to be scary but Batteries back in. You'll see the LED come on. I'll press the button. Oh, there we go. Now I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> Here we go. Oh, gee! <laughs> and we'll do it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's scary. That's enough. So even though 
I've killed the power, right? There's no batteries in it. And that capacitor is still charged, so if I... See that? So don't play around with it, even after you've taken the batteries out, because they still hold charge. Yep. So that's it. That'll zap a bit more than flies. Probably the neighbor's cat or dog. Nah, just kidding, guys. What I'll do later, I'll, I'll disconnect it. I'll assemble it all, run wires out, so it can fit back into its original case. And um, we'll go zap some spiders or something. All right. And I'm just gonna tin some cables here, some wires. And solder them onto the capacitor pins. And I'll run these cables out through the actual bug zapper and mount that capacitor on the outside because it's not gonna fit inside the actual case. All right, that's that. Now put all this back together and maybe cut a little hole out on the side, have these wires hanging out. Burnt a bit of the plastic here with a soldering iron to let the wires go through. Oh, that was a screw for the actual one. Alright. Just make sure it still works. Push these wires nice and neatly. Don't want them too long because I'll be in the way. Strip the ends. Solder them onto the uh, pins of the capacitor. You can put a whole string of these on if you got them. The more the merrier. They might take a little bit longer to charge though in between discharge cycles, but um, should be all right. I'll just tape that up there. Make sure nobody touches that while it's charging because you will feel what the bugs are feeling.
Okay. The moment of truth. Let's have a look. How good is it? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to hurt. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> have fun with it.